Guys, I've got the Losi Super Baja Ray 2.0 tore apart right now. Here's the body of this thing. I'm putting in the Eco Power server right here. I got this from A Main and the Losi Fist Scale server mount. It's all going in right now. Let's get to the table, put it in, and let's go. This is the servo mount right here. Aluminum servo mount Super Baja Ray. So hopefully this right here will work. Aside from taking the body off and all that, you can see I've got the stock one already out right here. And I loosened these screws right through here, loosened the screws on the back side, and I was able to worm it out so I didn't have to take all this stuff apart. So um, um, anytime you're working on a Super Baja Ray or a Baja Ray of any kind, it's always a heck of a job. Now, as you can see, I've got Vitavon all over this thing. So yeah, but this right here, I've got to get this in. Done. Everything's bolted in the bottom and the top. Bolts, you got a 0.15 second speed, 8.4, uh, Then your 667 ounces at six volts, 861 at 8.4. So uh, pretty beefy. The servo itself looks pretty darn good. The whole metal section is all metal to help dissipate your heat. It does have the plastic ears, plastic top, stuff like that, but should be more than enough for this thing. One of the most important things you can ever do is plug your servo in and get everything centered. So we are, we are all set. And here we go. Now, as far as that link down there by Vitavon, I had to make that. Apparently there's a link that I need that I did not get. So um, yeah, I got to order the proper link or just be happy with what I made. It's about 63.4, 63 and a half millimeters or so. And it seems like it's going to work perfectly. All right, guys, it is in. There you go. Got to set my endpoints a little bit, but um, that is pretty much it. Heck yeah. You're probably wondering if the 5690, the 1250 KV will fit. And yeah, it will go right in. Maybe I'll do that in another video. But for right now, I just want to get this thing driving with this right here. But, um, yeah, 1250KV will absolutely fit this beast. So now that we've seen all that go in, I'm going to go ahead and close this thing up, get the body on it, finish it all up, and be ready to take this thing outside in three, two, and one. Big old dude here. Need to pick that back end up a little bit though, don't I? <laughs> That's some of that old black dirt. I used to have that all the way at the top and it is powdery out here. All right, it's time to run the track a little bit, a little bit on the rough side, but I think I got pretty much everything squared away for the most part. That looks nice and smooth. Oh. Oh. Oh, right into the new jump. Wow. I mean, I could put the 1250 KV in it, but honestly, I really don't think it needs it. We need some rain out here in Florida. At least some rain here at the Exoplex. Cause it is powder. Powder, powder. Oh, I launched wrong. When you launch wrong with this truck, the torque twist spit sends it over into a spiral. You kind of got to just let the thing launch off the throttle. If not, all you do is cause yourself problems like that. Like you got to just let the thing launch. 
it's that sway bar. It's so close to the fulcrum that it kind of hurts on the launches. You can actually see the axle. Uh, but let me show you. I'm, I'm gonna try to get this in slow motion. I tell you guys what, sand pedals are about the only thing that's gonna move out here. I mean, this is just bad powder. Oh, I'm finding rocks and all kinds of stuff now. Okay, let's just uh, give this thing a couple punches on the grass and call the drive good. There we go. The servo went in beautifully. It powers the truck great. I did bump the ESC, the BEC inside of that thing up to 8.4. So we got to volt that up. The mount by Losi worked perfectly. So the difference is I had to make that link and I had to kind of adjust the um, little dam thing right there, the uh, dirt dam blocker thing. Um, I had to hit that with a little torch and bend that out. But regardless of all that, it's there and it is at home. Uh, servo, perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. The track is complete dust back there. Dust, powder. We haven't had rain in over two weeks here in Florida, at least in my area, and that's kind of a big deal. So, But all I got to tell you guys is one thing. The link is down below. I got this server from A-Main. Use that link. It's an affiliate link. So A-Main, Horizon, eBay, Amazon, Tower. Um, use those links. They're affiliate links and help out the channel. And now, something else. If you have a chance today or tomorrow to just kind of stop what you're doing and go do something spontaneous and fun, don't waste the opportunity. Because if you don't do it now, but you do it three days from now, it will not be the same experience. Just thought I'd point that out there. Guys, I want you to have a great day and go do that. Have a good one. Guys, you made it to the end. This is awesome. Thank you so much. You guys make it to the end of the video. It means so much to me. Uh, I mean, for real. Consider joining, becoming a member for just $2 a month. That's the cheapest way to go. In the description are affiliate links, A main, eBay, Amazon. You guys know all the, all the stuff on that. Um, but yeah, guys, it means a lot that you're here and you're listening to this right now. And I want you to have a great day.